Dragon. So Hui, range-wise here, is going to have to get a lot done against this Corky because even though you have Vi and you have the Nautilus, Corky is just so easy to play around with his Valkyrie, with Package. And they have insane engage with the Ash Arrow, they have Rel. Uh, and this time, actually destroy the enemy Nexus. Uh, it is the end of one of your summoners, at least. Um, oh yeah, as Jiwoo. He's going to be spotted here by Beryl, throwing down a frost shot. As Jonas Strong is also going to get a little bit confused. Just wanted to really... Not worth the risk without enough vision there from KT. And they're just going to go ahead and start off the blue buff of Nongshim. Sort of mess up the jungling here early for Sylvie, which I really do like. Um, okay, well, that is a little bit of a hook here from Peter. His death already down to about 300. But Jiwoo basically doesn't have a health bar left. So... I'm not sure about this. Of course, we do know that Ash Callista are very powerful. They did come a quite greedy way through. Yeah. Already, already half of half a plate. It's BDD. Already has to flash here in this mid lane. Thank you, Jonas Strong, for letting us know. And that is 120 health that he is Sylvie. down to. As Sylvie can just hop over this wall. This is so dangerous. And he is going to be spotted. Vault Breaker going to come on through there. It's, oh, no! Just doesn't even find the Fast Bomb. As uh, Sylvie's able to walk it off, and that's first blood. Yeah, no Fast Bomb, no, not enough damage there, and that's going to be first blood going over to Sylvie. So what was a disastrous start for him? He was uh, Sylvie going to come over here, but he's already gotten the first of them, and I just don't think it's a good idea for Sylvie to contest this because Wei was backing, so not going to be able to do much. So Pyoshi gets this, and they should be able to turn this into another attempt on the Dragon bottom side now that... All the time when it was Renekton meta, so we just don't have a ton of information about how comfortable he is on this oh, pick. No, Sylvie. Sylvie. Yeah, in a lot of trouble here as he does have the Aftershock that is now not going to be doing anything. BDD in the Fog of War. Fiesta's moving on over, but Sylvie is just going to be taken down first. That's a kill for BDD! Oh, Yikes. disaster for Nongshim, and now Fiesta, he's going to try and get back to the minion wave, and thankfully... That rocket is not going Yoshik. to land. That one does, though, and Pyoshik is just going to find the crash down on top of him. Magnus Storm to keep the way in place. He does manage to get a fear, but uh, I don't think he's getting out of the way of this one. That's a cheeky little auto, and even Pyoshik going to live through it just fine. Two kills on the Corky. Oh, bottom lane, which we haven't been watching, is also getting obliterated off screen um, by this pick that they gave up instead. So let's see if this works out. Ult advantage. Then yeah. Then. Sylvie moving on over is perfect. Going to have to flash to get himself out of the way. I do really like flashing very early, and that is going to get him out of the way of cease and desist. So Sylvie once again. Okay, it does actually have it over the wall. Didn't have it in the try brush, so it is able to see Peter there and react. Yep. And they're losing control this very quickly. I mean, BD is oh. ready. Yeah, Arrow is going to connect. Package is going to be delivered. They do manage to get a red buff, but Sylvie makes it out. Now Peter, he goes in, but he's on top of the package. He just took so much damage, and now Perfect's going to show up. He's going to be that front line. And yes, piercing arrows land. The way damage lands, but the front line not going to be able to offer too much. And Dinda not even there. No teleport available. That will mean that this second dragon goes over to KT. And I'm really glad I went on an Ocean Soul rant. In there, I'm going to turn this. Uh, but then he goes over the package. He was in trouble. He is in a lot of trouble as he is going to cleanse the slow. But there's a flash volley to come in and deft. He already had that auto attack in the air, so even after the flash, Jiwu is still dead. Shot as well, just to guarantee. Oh, oh no. there's another one, but it is going to go wide. Looked beautiful, though. Thank you very much for that, Barrel. Yeah, he's really just um, showing us how fast those can travel. Yeah, and how fast they come off cooldown as well. As, all right, perfect. Going to throw down the Dominus. Here's a hex flash over from Peter, who gets amongst it, but he doesn't really want to hook Pyoshik. Now, BDD, he gets in amongst it. It's not really that good of a Magnet Storm, but Peter just explodes. What was that? Now Beryl is chasing Fiesta down. Jiwoo comes in but doesn't hit the Chains of Corruption. The Crocodile is still going to fall. And they lock down the Rift Herald and somehow Pyoshik just exits. I mean, he's real. He's going to get those. And he does. And he gets away because he has Flash. And now Jiwoo is isolated. Uh, yeah. Beryl is just chasing him down. Abidity is in here as Fiesta wants to come on over. Crushing more does come on through. Oh, the Vault Breaker is avoided by BDD. And even sidesteps that one, finds the rocket. Pyoshik comes back in again. He's like, I flashed out. That might have been a mistake because I kind of want to fight here. It's Dindin. He'll show up. He has more than half of his health bar. Oh, man, this game is crazy. After, this game is uh, perfect. Unfortunately, did fall down a little bit earlier on. Pierce not going to land there. His chains of corruption also going to go wide. The arrow will connect, though, and thankfully, Jiwoo has a cleanse for it. But now four members are bearing down on this outer turret. Yeah, that is, uh, that's that's six grubs. So I think Peter's happy the dredge line didn't connect. Let's just group for Baron and 
what can Nongshim reasonably hope to, to offer back? I mean, BDD has TP as well. He can back. And Fiesta, I mean, can he clear this wave? Looks like with a TP, the answer is no. Yep, not going to be able to. Flashes over the Shattering Strike, that's definitely good. But he can't flash that because he doesn't have to. And there goes the way. Is that going to be enough to get them a Baron? I don't think so. I mean, it's a corky composition. Added security, um, but they've also got Pyoshik on Rel. So, I mean, this is not a 50-50. This should be more like an 80-20. Let's see what Nongshim can actually do to try and mitigate it. The rocket's not necessarily landing as there's the Fate's Call onto Barrel. Cease and Desist does come in, but Sylvie, he's so incredibly low, he's taken down as the Baron just ignored now. The Callista will be taken out. Jiwoo finding himself some relative safety, and there's a Kasante, and he is starting to pop off in this one. Jiwoo just untouched, and KT are on the floor. Yeah, I thought that was a really nice engage from Nongshim. Him. It was really clean. The flank comes through. Of course, feeling that they did have a large advantage, and they still do. The Rebel Baron power play already at 1500, but Nongshim are still pretty far behind. Soul point available as Fiesta going to take an arrow to the face. And the package also burning him down. Still, they are able to take down the Corky. But in goes Pyoshik. That Magnus Storm is so much better as Sylvie dives in. But it is more of just a sacrifice. And Perfect is going to get his revenge as Peter and Pyoshik going to be fighting. Oh, gets in front of the dredge line. Nicely done there from Pyoshik. And Peter will be taken out with the help of Beryl. And that this, is going to be the ace. This fight just illustrates that Nongshim need a lot more setup. They need a flank when they're this far behind. They just don't have the tools to fight KT in the neutral. When KT get to fight on their terms with a package, it's not even a fight. It's a slaughter. Not even close. Nongshim had that one heroic fight on the Baron. We'll give him that. That was a really nice flank they're from Sylvie. They're still here. And this is six grubs, remember. Yeah, they're just going the game. There's one second left on to Fiesta, but there's only one Nexus turret left. Ah, oh, okay, well, I mean, this game went from, like, Nongshim just managed to take a Baron, but but to, to over, now it's over. It's over, <laughs> but if they were going to come back. Yeah, and you can see Colmy looking a little bit uh, confused in the back there, because honestly, I am too. I felt like we did have at least a couple more <laughs> minutes in that one, um, but wasn't to be the case. Jiwoo, almost doubling the damage of Deft in this game. I think this was mainly about Perfect, and especially about BDD, and the fact that he got himself...